I Am The Walrus is a surreal masterpiece by the Beatles. I have loved this song my entire life, and chances are, so have you. Released in 1967 as a B-side to the single Hello Goodbye, I Am The Walrus by the Beatles stands out for its surreal and nonsensical lyrics, complex musical structure, and use of unusual instruments and sound effects. The song's title references The Walrus and the Carpenter, a poem by Lewis Carroll from his 1871 book, through the looking glass. The lyrics of I Am The Walrus originated from three different song ideas by John Lennon. The first idea came from trying to match the sound of a police siren at his home in Weybridge, resulting in the line, Mr. City, Policeman Sitting. The second was a rhyme about Lennon sitting in his garden, sitting in an English garden, waiting for the sun. The third idea was a nonsense phrase, sitting on a cornflake, waiting for the man to come, later changed to Van. John Lennon combined these unfinished song ideas into one, creating a piece that he intended to be beyond analysis. However, John's intellect and well-read background suggest that the song, despite its apparent nonsense, holds deeper meanings. And as I often say, he himself might not have even known about some of the subconscious meanings in his own lyrics. During the song's creation, John's friend Pete Shotton was visiting him. They had received a letter from a student at their former school, Quarry Bank High School, for boys. The letter stated that the Beatles songs were being analyzed in literature classes. They were both amused, and John decided to finish the song in a way that would confuse anyone trying to interpret it. I'm the Walrus opens with a haunting string section and a choral introduction, setting a surreal tone. The first verse starts with the iconic line, I am he, as you are he, as you are me, and we are all together. John Lennon said the idea just came out of nowhere and that it was his original creation. The line itself suggests unity, and there's a reason why. It seems to have come from the song Marching to Pretoria, which contains lyrics such as, I'm with you, as you're with me, and we are all together. So what do you think? Did John Lennon create that line himself, or did he liberate it from marching to Pretoria? I think we all know the answer to that. Either way, that line is followed by bizarre images. See how they run, like pigs from a gun. See how they fly. I'm crying. These lines can imply the difficulty of forming true friendships, which no doubt Lennon experienced once he became rich and famous. And also the line, I'm crying, expresses Lennon's sadness about this. The phrase, sitting on a cornflake, waiting for the van to come, may symbolize feelings of insignificance, but it also could be a sexual allegory. Since John Lennon may have known that Dr. John Harvey Kellogg's creation of cornflakes was originally designed to suppress libido. Corporation t-shirt, stupid bloody Tuesday, man you've been a naughty boy, you let your face grow long. This verse critiques how people find their identities in large corporations and organizations, influenced by marketing campaigns. Stupid bloody Tuesday may signify the insignificance of individuals within a larger group, highlighting how Tuesday is often overlooked. The final line suggests that people should remain happy, implying that only those who let life beat them down become unhappy. The chorus features the line, I am the Eggman, which could refer to Humpty Dumpty or someone publicly falling apart. However, it might also reference the lead singer of the group The Animals. You see, Eric Borden had a peculiar habit of cracking raw eggs over the naked bodies of the women he was having sex with. And since he and John Lennon were friends, John would have known that. They are the Eggmen. This lyric may be referring to the fact that no one could really help the Beatles if they fell apart. Because no one understands them anymore following the death of Brian Epstein. I am the Walrus. When John says this, it may mean that you see him one way, but he may be another way. And you really don't know him at all. And even he sometimes doesn't have a grasp of his own identity. Lennon then sings Goo Goo Gajub, a mysterious phrase which is possibly a variation of a phrase from James Joyce's Finnegan's Wake. The second verse continues the theme of confusion and disillusionment. Mr. City, policeman sitting, pretty little policeman in a row. These lines might critique the conformity and lack of independent thought among public servants. The reference to Lucy in the Sky ties back to another of John Lennon's songs, adding to the interconnectedness of his work. 
The song then transitions into an instrumental section with a brass ensemble and various sound effects, including a police siren hiding the sense of chaos and disorientation. He then sings I'm crying four times. John is crying because he's sad about all that he is saying. Yellow matter custard dripping from a dead dog's eye. These lines were liberated from the following nursery rhyme that Pete shot and reminded John Lennon about. Yellow matter custard, green slop pie, all mixed together with a dead dog's eye. Lennon then sings, Crab a locker, fishwife, pornographic priestess. Crab a locker is a nonsense word. Doesn't mean anything. A fishwife is typically the wife of a fisherman selling her husband's catch. Pornographic priestess refers to how people aren't always what they appear to be and are oftentimes the exact opposite of what you think they are. Boy, you've been a naughty girl. You let your knickers down. In British English, knickers are panties. This suggests that some people eventually show their true colors and reveal who they really are. I am the Eggman. They are the Eggmen. I am the Walrus. Goo goo gajoob. Are the next lines. The third verse introduces a new melody and structure with the lines, Sitting in an English garden, waiting for the sun. This refers to John Lennon's garden in Weybridge, symbolizing a longing for happiness. Since... We all found out he was unhappy in his marriage with Cynthia. If the sun don't come, you get a tan from standing in the English rain. This suggests resignation to less than ideal circumstances, once again reflecting John Lennon's unhappiness in his marriage. The song then continues with John Lennon singing while a BBC radio broadcast of Shakespeare's King Lear plays. John Lennon then sings, I am the Eggman, and in the background we hear, Now good sir. John Lennon then sings, They are the Eggmen, and in the background we hear, A poor man made tame to fortune's blows. John Lennon then sings, I am the walrus, goo goo gajoob, goo 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 gajoob. And in the background we hear, Good pity. The chorus is repeated once again, reinforcing the mysterious and elusive nature of the goo goo gajoob phrase. The lyrics continue to blend surreal imagery with pointed social commentary. Expert, Expert, choking smokers, don't you think the Joker laughs at you? This could be Lennon's jab at intellectuals and authority figures who try to decipher his lyrics, only to be mocked, at least by John Lennon, for attempting to do so. Such as like what I'm doing right now, by trying to interpret his subconscious and conscious meanings to his lyrics. But hey, we're all Beatles fans, this is what we do. See how they smile, like pigs in a sty. See how they snide. I'm crying. Here John Lennon is expressing sadness over the insincerity that he perceives in people around him. Semolina Pilchard. According to Patty Boyd, Semolina Pilchard refers to Sergeant Pilcher of the London Drug Squad, who was known for targeting rock stars in the late 1960s. Also, a Pilchard is a small fish. This implies that John Lennon may be belittling Pilcher by comparing him to this insignificant fish. Climbing up the Eiffel Tower. This likely refers to Pilcher's efforts to gain recognition by targeting celebrities in his drug bus. Elementary Penguin singing Hare Krishna. This may be a jab at those who follow trends without understanding, possibly aimed at poet Allen Ginsberg or even George Harrison, though George likely didn't take it personally or he would have said so at some point in his life. Man, you should have seen them kicking Edgar Allan Poe. This might refer to the mistreatment of misunderstood poets, paralleling John Lennon's own experience with critics. The song then concludes with an instrumental section and repeating the lines, I am the Eggman, they are the Eggmen, I am the Walrus, goo goo gajoob. And then you've got the backing vocals singing, Jube Jube Juba, Juba Juba Juba, Jube Juba Jube Juba. The phrase, oompa oompa, stick it up your joompa, and everybody's got one, add to the song's playful mocking tone. John Lennon said that it means that we're all alike, and that everybody's the same. The final verse includes more excerpts from King Lear, reinforcing the song's themes of confusion and layered meanings. In conclusion, I Am the Walrus is a masterpiece of surrealism and complexity. John Lennon wove together childhood rhymes, literary references, and social commentary, creating a song that defies simple interpretation. Its musical structure, with orchestral and choral elements, complements its enigmatic lyrics, making it one of the Beatles' most intriguing works. In essence, I Am the Walrus reflects John Lennon's brilliance in crafting a piece that is at once nonsensical and deeply meaningful. 
leaving listeners to ponder its mysteries and enjoy its rich, layered sound. So, what do you think of the song, I Am The Walrus? Is it one of your favorites? Do you think the lyrics mean any of the things that I've mentioned? Or do you think John Lennon was just making stuff up? Kindly let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please like and share and subscribe to the show on whatever platform you are listening on. Kindly remember that I've written a bunch of books about the Dakota and Friar Park and Tittenhurst Park. You can buy any of them on Amazon or other booksellers. Please check out the links below to see various ways to support my research and productions. Until next time, I wish you safe travels on all your journeys.